When you're deciding what kind of oxides to use on top of your glaze, if you want to use them, uh, this little chart can be really helpful in deciding what those colors are going to look like after you put them on. So you'll notice all of the tiles, uh, whether they're shaped like this or like this, there's a section where there are four stripes. Some of them are harder to see than, other, than others, so make sure you look really closely. And these stripes correlate with these four oxides on top of the glaze. So the first one here you can see is cobalt, and that's traditionally blues on most of the glazes when it shows up. Uh, the second stripe is copper, and that gives you a lot of uh, green and red flashes, sometimes yellow, but most glazes, as you can see on this waxy white glaze, it actually turns out green. Um, rutile or rutile is the third stripe, and that's where you get a lot of tans and yellows. It also has a tendency to make some glazes run heavily, so you want to be careful when using that on thick glazes. And then the fourth stripe is iron, iron oxide, and that's actually just rust concentrate. Um, and so we put that on top and that gives you a lot of browns, um, sometimes dark reds, but um, mainly browns and blacks.